Mi amazon guys, how are you doing? If you are new here, welcome. My name is Kikeli and I know this vlog is just starting all over the place, but I have been saying practice makes perfect. So I just landed in DC and I just realized how much I miss this place. My last time in DC was in 2015. I'm so excited and happy to be back here. So come along and let's explore DC in 36 hours. <laughs> Fabiola is here and ready and we're about to head out and hit the city. By the way, I know some people are like, who is Fabiola? Who is Fabiola? We have a video together and we like explored a lot of beaches in Togo. So I'm going to link that video somewhere around here and you guys can go watch that video. So Fabiola is a master events planner. So if you need her to, you know, take you places, hit her up, hit her up. She's a pro at what she does. So yeah. we're ready. Are you ready? I am ready. All right, let's go. <laughs> are here at the United States Botanic Garden and it's about to close at 5 p.m. so we have like an hour and 30 minutes we're going to go in and explore if you are in DC this is a place you want to visit are in the part of the botanic garden that um, imitates the weather in Madagascar so there are a lot of greenery lots of trees and it's very humid here compared to the outside where there was a lot of flowers so it is a nice place to see different kinds of plant species and learn a little bit more about them such an amazing time in the garden oh my goodness if you're somebody who loves nature and you want to be connected and also like get knowledge about some of the plants you have in your own house or the plants you see in your environment this is the place to be because oh, it feels so heavenly it feels like you are in the garden of Eden a lot of variety I love it Good morning. Today's another day of this DC vlog or whatever you want to call it. Yesterday's vlog actually ended abruptly because I didn't end up recording parts of it. But today we have a full schedule. We are bright up and early and we are going to be leaving very soon. Um, Fabula has so many amazing things on the list for us to do. So we're going to get breakfast first and then there's like the embassy tours going on in DC so you get to like visit different embassies that are participating in this program and we have a few other fun stuff to do so yeah I'm very excited and I hope you enjoyed this vlog see ya see ya see ya see ya soon
breakfast is secured can't wait to try it fabula recommended this place it's a jewish bagel place called call your mother and uh yeah can't wait to eat and enjoy So we're doing the embassy tours mm -hmm. and we're going, is it group 1B? Um, yeah, we're doing itinerary 1B. Okay, and what countries um, are on the list? So the very first one we're visiting is Kenya. Okay. Um, the last one will probably be Belize. Mm -hmm. But in between that we have Haiti, Burkina Faso, okay. um, Cameroon, okay. Cote d'Ivoire, Malawi, the Zoro as well. Okay. Yeah. Mm, very excited. Yeah. I, know. I wish there was. I think I saw Barbados on one of the list, and I really wanted to like. Yeah. I feel like we can also do that. Nah, that's not over. We'll work ourselves. Yes. Because we're gonna be doing lots of walking. We are gonna be doing a lot of walking. Yeah. But on the bright side, all the embassies are like nearby. Okay. We're very close to each other. Yeah. Right. Which one are you most excited for? Wait, repeat the list of me again. Um, so it's Kenya, Haiti, Burkina Faso, Cameroon, Belize, Lesotho, Korea, Cote d'Ivoire, and Malawi. I think all the countries sound very interesting. Kenya, I mean, I'm excited. Lesotho is a very tiny country inside South Africa, right? Like. Yeah, I think it's inside South Africa, so I'm really curious to learn more about it. Mm -hmm. um, Cameroon, Burkina Faso. Let's go see what our neighboring countries are doing. No, literally. <laughs> okay, no, that's, that would actually be so mm -hmm. interesting to see. I think I'm very excited for Kenya. Kenya, okay. Yeah. So we yeah. just left Cameroon. Oh my goodness, they did a, such a great representation of a country. They had so many snacks, they had music. Oh, the food was so good. We just had like grilled beef with like some spicy pepper. They even had dentures. It was, uh, it was so flavorful. And now we are at Cote d'Ivoire. And as you know, the line is long, so. <laughs> We are waiting. Can't wait to show you what Cote d'Ivoire looks like. Hopefully they have a check it. Thank you. 
just came from Ivory Coast also great representation for the country and then they had outside like they had a little courtyard outside they were frying plantains they were frying puff puff um they were making a cheque they were frying fish and so they had like a loco riga it was really good and the attendants were super super nice so um and then we we're gonna eat the food because we got it to go so yeah now we are heading over to belize to see what they have so we made a rest stop home because <sighs> it's been a lot okay so first things first embassy tours in dc happens annually so once a year and i believe around may if you're coming plan accordingly because they start at 10 a.m and a lot of people get up early to get to to get to the embassies of your choice and you also have to go like go to like an informational booth to get like a little dc passport and then when you go to each embassy they can like give you a stamp um we didn't like plan for that so like i was saying you have to go to the informational booth and they have a lot of them all around town and uh you get like a passport situation and you get a stamp at each embassy you head to which is i think which i think is a really cool thing and uh the lines are long expect to wait in line for at least 15 minutes before getting into the embassy itself and then like touring each embassy so for each embassy i think we spent a solid 45 minutes between waiting getting in looking you know exploring getting out getting food and one nice thing is that a lot of these embassies are like giving free food not like a lot but like you know snacks of some of your dishes that you can try and some embassies are actually selling your food so plan accordingly don't think this is just a free event you can just jump there get in line and get free food all the time but it was very good and uh, we had a whole list of countries we wanted to go to a list of embassies excuse me that we wanted to go to but it was the wait time was long so we went to Burkina Faso um, apparently they were not having their tour at your own embassy they were having it at, an, at a different location so we just like looked at the outside we went to kenya the line was long then we went to guatemala where else did we go uh, we saw Gua no we so saw guatemala um then we went to we went to Cote d'ivoire we went to cameroon i really love cameroon i'm not gonna lie they did such a great representation of their country uh and they were so like nice they were what, what's the word Welcoming. welcoming yeah and they were very warm so ivory coast was also really nice um lots of people um, we went to belize belize was very short um it was more like a party situation going on there there was nothing much to see you just went they were selling food party rum oh my goodness also let me tell this little story <laughs> while we are at eight i know fabula is eating so she does not want to be on this camera right now excuse me so we went to haiti after going through the tour we came downstairs and they gave us like um the fried plantains with like pickles and the grillo i think that's what you call it and uh then they had like some drinks it was like punch on at the end and there were two punches i didn't know one what had alcohol the other did not have alcohol but they did not label it so when Fabula took her punch, it was so small. I wanted a bigger punch. So I took the one that was very full to the brim. I drank it and I told Fabula, oh my goodness, this thing has alcohol. Fabula is all confused. She's like, there's no alcohol in this stuff. I'm like, yes, there is alcohol in this stuff. I'm like, try my own. And she tried it. And indeed, mine had alcohol. Hers did not have alcohol. So what happened was I was being greedy. I wanted the cup <laughs> that had more drinks. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Fabiola says, Ça m'apprendra. So, yeah, I have a really massive headache right now. Not from that, but when we went to Belize, like right, you were there, they were giving like shots of coconut rum. So, I'm like, okay, let me try it. And here I am with a headache on this side. So, moral of the story do not succumb to peer pressure. 
<laughs> no, I'm not saying peer pressure from Fabiola. I mean peer pressure from, from outsiders. <laughs> people were just taking it i'm like me too let me do let me do but anyways we're going to like quickly get something to eat and we're heading out to go for kayaking and then walk by the wharf mm -hmm. yeah um so this dc um trip is i'm really really enjoying it even though we had so many things planned we actually also wanted to go to the old post office um but that I, that's not something we we're going to be able to do because it closed at 4 p.m and uh oh by the way so we're eating um we're eating Khaigra, which is jollof rice. We got some food from Ivory Coast. They had ginger juice. They had bisap. Cameroonians also had bisap, which was good. And we got plantains. And here is the Khaigra. Uh, we got boflot. And uh, the acheke. Um, this is what the acheke looks like. It smells so good. Yeah. Oh my goodness, it does smell so good. Wow, it smells so good, and uh, everything came to $29, which is great, which is like wild for the amount of food we got. So, thank you, Fabiola. Thank you, DC, for allowing me to come and enjoy the place. Anyways, on to eating, we will meet at the kayaking location. Fabiola loves danger. Absolutely she not. loves danger. I mean, I don't mind a challenge, but like, we're literally in the middle over here. And we're all soaked. We're soaked indeed. But I'm enjoying it though, I'm enjoying it. Aside from that, the water smells fishy though. Yeah. Hi y'all. <laughs> Welcome back to Kikeli's vlog. We are currently at the wharf. Um, yeah kayaking we're very wet very wet it's been a struggle um like we've been going in circles <laughs> literally over and over again um for some reason we cannot seem to be coordinated i don't know what that's about kekeli you get your act together <laughs> ah, i'm trying but yeah um hopefully we can actually make it back to our departure gates. Departure <laughs> <laughs> gates. Oh, At this point, that's what it is. <laughs> um, or our dock. Dock. Yeah. But yeah, our departure dock. <laughs> but yeah. Um, see y'all on the other side. Hopefully. If we survive. Yes. Literally. But yeah. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. So it's night time and uh, first of all, we spent an amazing evening at the wharf and uh, with Fabiola, we went kayaking and later walked the length of the wharf, sight saw, is that what you say? <laughs> sight saw, <laughs> went sightseeing. <laughs> <laughs> and then we got some ice cream which is really really good and we sat by the fireplace I'm gonna like insert some pictures and videos here and there and it felt so relaxing watching the sunset and now I also wanted to like have an experience of DC by night so here we are as you can see behind me the Washington Memorial and we can't get in now because it's already dark and late but I think we're gonna like get a nice view of it and also visit other monuments um, tonight and just see the vibe. <laughs> 